Welcome to our very short course on how to set language options in Windows and Office. If uh, this is useful, if you want to use non-English characters, such as an accent aigu or something to that effect, we're going to go through a very short list of five items, and then we're going to go show you how to use them. So the first way to produce non-English characters uh, is to use keyboard shortcuts. And I'll show you that. Then we'll show you how to set Windows itself to operate in a completely different uh, language other than English. Thirdly, you can uh, bring up a different keyboard, and uh, we'll show you how to do that. Fourthly, you can install language packs uh, in Office. So what that will let you do is check uh, your spelling and grammar in whatever language you select. And lastly, uh, th this will show you how to do quick translations in, uh, in Office. So let's get out of this, and uh, let's go through it. So the first thing is keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts are pretty straightforward. What you want to do is bring up Word. As an example, so let's say we wanted to produce uh, a Spanish character, which would be the N with the line over top. I'm going to press Control, Shift, and the tilde. That's the N. There it is. And um, let me do it again. There it is, lowercase if I let go. The uh, character is in lowercase if I press Control, Shift, tilde, and hold it. The key is in uppercase. Uh, let's continue then. Uh, so how you get that, how you get the list that I'm looking at right now, is to do a search in Google for keyboard shortcuts for international characters. The first hit is this. And what I just did was, this is the section I just followed. So control, shift, tilde, tilde is the squiggle in the top left hand corner again. Okay, we can change windows to Spanish. So let's go on to that. Uh, changing wind or English or whatever, or sorry, German or whatever other language you want. Uh, the, that is available if you have uh, Windows Ultimate or if you have Windows Enterprise. We have Enterprise, so we can change the entire operating system to function in a different language. The way you do that is to go to Windows Update, check for updates, and under Optional, there will be a large list of different languages, typically 34. Uh, if I wanted Spanish, I would click on Spanish, and then I would click OK, and then I would click Install, and we'd be on our way. That takes some time, so we're not going to show that any further. But that will let you change the entire operating system to function in a different language. The next way is to change your keyboard. Keyboard settings are fairly straightforward. You simply go into the control panel, which I'll do right here, and go to region and features. Uh, sorry, region and language. There it is. This will bring up the region and language. Click on keyboards and language. Click change keyboard and you can add in whatever you want. I have added in Spanish already. I'll go add something else just for fun. So I'm going to go add uh, Russian. So I'm going to say Russian. There we go. That will install, and then we're on our way. I'm going to remove that because I actually don't want it. And let me show you how that works. If uh, I click on, say, Latin American, which is the one I've installed already, and I click on Properties, it'll give me the keyboard layout that's temporarily available as I'm typing. So you'll see the N with the line on top. Uh, the, uh, is uh, the replacement key for the colon and semicolon. So that is available uh, right there. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to click, click out of this. I'll click OK because I'm done. And um, then I'm going to go to Word. And I'm going to go down to the language bar, which I just installed. I'm going to select Spanish. I'm going to start typing. And now I'm going to press the L, and then you key immediately to the right of the L, which in this case, again, is the semicolon and the colon. And there it is. I have the N with the line on top. OK, I'm going to change back to English. Uh, the next way is to uh, install language packs. Language packs will give you grammar and um, uh, spelling options in uh, the alternate language. Google language pack for Office 2007. And uh, the very first hit is the language pack for Office 2007. You can see the number of languages that are included in here include everything from Arabic to Dutch to whatever else. And uh, you simply install that, and you will then have the option of doing spelling and grammar in those languages. The last thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to do a quick translation. So I've written out, hello, how are you? Uh, I want to translate that to Spanish, so I'm go going to select that text. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to select translate and translate again. It's going to bring up the translation bar. I'm going to uh, agree that it's English is what I'm translating from. And I want to translate this to, well, let's say Russian. And that apparently is the Russian translation. 
for the sake of uh, clarity, because more people speak Spanish than Russian that, uh, that I know, I'm going to select Spanish, and then I'm going to select Insert, and that apparently is the Spanish for Hello, How Are You? And that concludes our course. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me. Thank you.